that can over to him. I don't know if that's gonna... There we go. <laughs> hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird and welcome to Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. It's been a bit since we last smashed and I've been missing hosting and competing in the viewer tournaments with you guys. So it's time to do a little bit of online for glory training and hopefully I'll get into fighting shape to compete once again. I tend not to do that well in the tournaments when I'm trying to talk and fight at the same time, so I'm gonna practice that a little bit and work on my uh, patting my head and rubbing my stomach sort of thing of uh, <laughs> of trying to play a competitive fighting game and also talk to you guys. All right, good start so far with this uh, nest combo here, but I gotta look out. Marth players tend to uh, play him for a reason because they have a fondness for him from the old game, so I should look out for anyone that, that plays Marth. This guy's using his shield breaker in the, the wrong direction, though. Let me see if I can get him with that. Yep. <laughs> That's a little trick that you can sometimes catch people with because they think you're going for him that way. But all right. This is a Japanese player, so we might get some lag. Oh, he's just going to jump off. He's sad about that. <laughs> well, a good start for me, at least. I figured I'd play a little bit of Ness. He's my favorite character, but also Lucas is out probably in a month or less now. He's supposed to come out in June, and he was my favorite in Brawl. I really like... His, uh, a lot of his smash attacks and stuff, like his up smash, he has a crazy psychic ability that just, like, launched ton Like, when I would play the game against, m like, multiple CPUs, it was really nice to have that smash attack, because you could run into the middle of a fight and just use that, and it would knock everybody around. Ness has improved a lot in Smash 4, so I'm, I'm hoping Lucas has as well. I also like Lucas has the Rope Snake from Mother 3. He's got some really good abilities. Oh, no. This is what you usually see on Fort Glory, a Link that will just spam all of their B moves over and over and stand on one side, wait for you to get close, then use their smash attacks. He's a little mad that I uh, I got him in that last one so easily. Oh jeez, and now he's gonna get me. And as soon as I did good, I'm now doing bad. He's taunting me. This guy is uh, a little taking this a little personally, it seems like. Now he's like, his mission in life is to Mess me up. There we go. <laughs> Hit you with your bat, and then your your uh, <laughs> tornado pushed you into it. He seems like he is really mad. I'm gonna try my best to beat him though, because I don't want to go out this way. Oh no. I hate playing against Links in For Glory, especially when they do this. But you gotta adapt. It's just really tough, especially with lag, to uh, to fight some of these guys when they just spam their B moves. He's just rolling. He's like he's literally doing the cliche For Glory style, which. Uh, if I lose to this, I'm going to be so sad, but please don't hold it against me. If I do, there we go. Fully charged smash attack. Can I get him with another PK Thunder? Oh, I, uh, I didn't do that quite right. He's a little... He's, he seems like shaking a little bit. He's, he's not teching those hits either, so he's having a hard time with that. Let's try another... Oh, <laughs> I was going to... I want to try to hit him with another PK Thunder too, but I don't know if he'll fall for it. That one should. Link is so heavy though. I was going to say that might take him out. And just barely gets on there. Oh, thought I could get him with the yo-yo. It's medieval weaponry against a little American style boy from Eagle Land with all of his tricks, his bat, his yo-yo. He's throwing his bombs. If I can time my uh, PSI magnet at the right time with his... Uh, with his bombs, I can actually heal myself, so I should try to do that. Oh, he's perfect for back throw. Even if he's on this side, he should. Yep, Ness's back throw is so strong. That's one thing I'm going to miss if I start playing Lucas, is the uh, the ability to back throw people off the side. There we go. Good amount of damage. Not going to KO him or anything, because it's uh, still pretty early. But I'm I'm a stock and some percent. We're, we're the even stocks now, but I'm some percentage behind. Jeez. This is what you get online. <laughs> a lot of the, pretty much everyone who plays on For Glory is either really good or just uh, spams to win. So I don't want to generalize, but that's just what I encounter. And I've heard a lot of people have similar experiences. He's gonna try to get me to the towards the edge, and then use a dash attack. Links love their dash attack. Toon Link does a similar style, but he's a little faster. I feel like I have a harder time with Toon Link than I do with Normal Link. We're gonna time out here if I'm not careful. There he goes. He's gonna try it. There we go. And. Oh, I wanted to hit him with my big old noggin, the big psychic noggin. I gotta get better at power shielding, like as soon as a projectile comes, you gotta hit that shield. You don't lose any of your shield health. Jeez, he's just racking on damage with his B moves, trying to get me, but I need to... <laughs> he thought I was gonna run in there. This is, a, this is kind of a tough match. I'm definitely not gonna play this guy again, win or lose, because of this style is not very fun. 
see if we can... Oh, <laughs> he just rolled over there. I think he's having some lag issues as well. Let's... Oh, I wanted to bat him away. I should just settle with whatever kill I can get on him because we're not going to be able to beat him the way that I want, I'm sure, with all these projectiles. Jeez, this is a crazy first uh, set here with this guy. Let's see if I can get on the other side of him. I probably shouldn't risk trying to do a PK Thunder 2 against this guy with all of his spamming of moves. But let's see, because that, that arrow can do a lot of damage, especially if he fully charged it. He's just spamming up. I'm just imagining an archer doing that, where they're just like shooting off arrows very slowly there. So, oh, eh, can I catch him with a PK Thunder 2? Oh man, we're really lagging here. I want to try to take him out the way that I had him last time with Marth. He's so mad about that, it seems like. He's, I'm at enough rage, and he's at a decent percentage where I could kill throw him, but I don't know if that'll work because Link is very heavy. He's got so much equipment. Man, this is more intense than I was expecting for the first couple matches, but I, wanna, I really want to try to beat this guy. And as you can see, not great against these spammers. So tough to, uh, to time this right with the lag. So hopefully you guys are sympathetic. I'm a little rusty, as you can tell. I do play Smash on my own, so I figured this is a good opportunity to just, you know, record when I'm uh, I'm playing anyways and get a video out of it for you guys to watch. Jeez, we're running out of time here. He's got a lot uh, more percentage on me than I do have on him, and he did that dash attack. And he's going to taunt like a jerk trying to show his skills, but it doesn't really take much skill to keep hitting the B button over and over. Should we rematch him? You guys can't tell. My pride is like, you gotta rematch him. But I also want to make a more enjoyable video. You know what? We'll switch it up. I'll go with Duck Hunt, and we'll fight him one more time. Even if I lose, I'll fight someone else because we don't want to have a whole video of spammers. But Duck Hunt is usually the character I go to when I fight someone who spams because I'll just spam him right back with Duck Hunt's moves. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Is he going to stay with Link? No, he's going to Fox. Okay. Ooh, this is going to switch it up. He's got his reflector, so any projectiles are not... Yeah, he loves just having moves that you could spam at the beginning, but I got my my little can. I'm going to try to get him with it. See if he uses his reflector. I don't know if he's even going to bother, really. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I love doing the, the little doggy bite. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think I, I like stopped his Firefox there. That was really weird. Hit it with the old uh, Chrome, the Internet Explorer. Stopped his Firefox dead in its tracks. There we go. I love the up air for my little doggy and my duck combo. Duck Hunt's one of my favorite characters in this. I'm glad they added these little guys, even if they are a bit spammy. Oh, let's see. Yeah, this is this is really tough with the lag. You can kind of tell I'm a little floaty here. And he's just trying to throw out a bunch of specials and... Uh, Oh jeez, yeah. Sometimes I sometimes I jab when I don't want to. But this is what happens when you play online. At least I'm playing a new a real person, and you have that satisfaction if you do beat them. Jeez, he's doing his Fox's jab combo and Bowser Jr.'s. I think are like the the worst in terms of ease of your opponent getting out of them, and you can just kind of keep going. Man, he's knocking my can the other way. <laughs> I'm having a hard time, even though we're at pretty even percentage. There we go. Let's run in and do that and see if I can get him with that. Nope. <laughs> I knocked his Firefox out of the way, though. That was cool. Alright. We gotta focus. Gotta try to get him. Oh. Mm. Trying to get him when he's gonna try to go for an up smash, and there we go. Catch him in one of mine. This guy... I think uh, Fox is as late as Olimar or Pikachu. There we go. Okay. I was trying for a smash there, but you can kind of... The Fox's tra trajectory when he recovers is pretty linear as well, so it seems like it's uh, not too tough to predict where he's going to go. He's either going to go in that straight line or use, you know, his Firefox ability. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see if I can get back on easily. The one thing I don't like about Duck Hunt is his recovery that is so... It leaves you so vulnerable. It's, it's kind of like... Uh, most of the other characters that have one of those linear recoveries, but it's it just you can't attack out of it Unlike Olimar or some of the others. There we go. Spam smash a little bit there But got to do what you got to do to take someone down if you can't predict exactly where, gonna, where they're gonna be with all the lag No Johns. Let's just try to finish this guy off. I've got rage So this should help a little bit to KO him sooner if I can. There we go. That's what I want to do and He's using his uh, recovery a lot there we go. If you hit, if you can manage to uh, hit with 
your clay shooting shot, then you can kind of rush in and do a little beak attack, but it's a little tough to time sometimes, and they can get out of it. Not guaranteed or anything. I want to try to get his, his up air. Duck Hunt's got a great up air, and uh, it, it knocks him off the top of the screen if you can time it right. Man, I'm <laughs> doing a little too many smashes. Not meaning to. There we go. I meant to do that one. <laughs> I need to focus on getting damage up. I'm at least in the lead a bit. Hopefully you guys are rooting for me. Oh man, Fox's up smash. Still very vicious, even in this game after all these years. Little Fox, he's got his potent up smash. But yeah, the uh, the time I'm playing is a little later for the Americas, so maybe if we, if we encounter Japanese players, they might not be the best, because it's uh, during the day for them. But if we're encountering anyone from the West, they're probably really good and devoted because they're up super late at night. Oh, I thought I had him there when he did that recovery because he he fell, but he was able to shield out of it pretty easily. Oh, and, oh, almost got him there. Trying to grab him. I need to go in for something more fancy here. Let's do this. That's what I want. Yeah, I love that up air. Not quite enough to kill yet. Oh, we can get him with that. Get that can over to him. I don't know if that's gonna, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know if that can can reach him, but it got him. Couple more cans. Let's see if we can, we can get him with the cans as he tries to recover. Oh, he went under the stage. A little unfortunate, but all right. I got my revenge for his link spam. And I spammed him with the can. Have a hearty laugh. All right, let's do one more match. Let's try to find somebody else that uh, the connection's a little bit better. Thank you guys for uh, for watching this. And if you are enjoying it, you want to see more for Glory or more Smash in general, let me know. Because again, I do this on my own. Uh, this is my favorite thing to do when I'm rendering a video. I will turn on Smash Wii U and I will use the gamepad because I, I usually leave my computer when I'm rendering videos to just devote everything to doing that because it's pretty intensive. So then I will pretty much just like focus on on my uh, on my little gamepad here and use that as a screen. So it's, it's almost like a portable system without having one. I, I like that feature a lot. So I'm, uh, I'm appreciative of that. The Nintendo threw that in there because, <laughs> yeah, mini TV when I can't use my actual TV. Oh, we're fighting another fox, but this is a completely different person. I'm going to try my uh, my Pac-Man against him. Pac-Man, I don't think he's one of the better characters in the game necessarily, but he can do really well. If you've seen some some prominent smashers like uh, Abadongo from Japan, he's really good with Pac-Man. And uh, he did pretty well in the in Apex, but I think he had trouble with some of the, the more stally characters like Rosalina and Olimar and stuff like that, but Pac-Man, he's got a lot of setups. You don't really want to go in too, too much with him because he's got that uh, the fruit you want to charge and wait until you got that. Oh, jeez. He's locking me down. I just kept getting spiked there. I like his uh, fire hydrant, but you got to be careful with it. He's falling into it pretty... He's going to get frustrated here pretty soon because of all the hydrants I'm dropping. The hydrant's also a really good bait because people will always try to uh, to kick it out of the way. They love to go after the Hydrant for themselves because they know that you can hit it. It's like everyone knows that about Pac-Man. It's funny that I never like associated Pac-Man with a Fire Hydrant, but that's probably the most iconic thing about Pac-Man in this Smash version is his, his Hydrant. These fruit are all from the old Pac-Man as well, but I oh, thought he was going to come up there. <laughs> Had my key ready. Kind of wasted it, but that's all right. Let's try to charge it again. Got ample time because Fox's recovery is kind of slow. Let's try to get him and uh, wait till he does that. <laughs> See, he, they love the fire hydrant. Just distract him with it, and they will uh, ooh, hit it back at you if you're not careful. All right, I'm gonna charge my fruit. I'm doing it a little better than I usually do when I'm talking, so I think I'm, I'm getting the rust out. Trying to play a bunch of different characters is also tough as well, because you, you know, you have to remember to adapt. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. I was like shielding, and I tried to hit, so I did the, uh, did the old grab there. Pac-Man's grab so slow. I wish they would speed that up a little bit, but oh no, that was unfortunate. Let's put our little hands in and eat Hyrule Castle. All right, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you want to see more for Glory or if you want to see me fight you guys just in friendlies instead of streaming. I can just pop on and start fighting a bunch of you and uh, that'll be fun as well. Either way, if you did enjoy this, leave a like and let me know what you want to see next time in terms of Smash stuff. I will see you guys then for more Smash Wii U.